I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the May 2021 U.S. SAT non-calculator. College Board is asking for the x-intercepts of a rational function, and the x-intercepts occur where the y value is zero. So I have zero equals x plus three, x minus two over x. I can either plug in these x values and see if I get zero, or I can set this expression equal to zero and solve for the x values where it's zero. I'm going to first plug in x values. At x equals negative three, I get zero equals negative three plus three, negative three minus two over negative three. That is zero times negative five over negative three, which is zero over negative three, which is zero. So that one does work. I've ruled out choice B. Let's try number two, x equals two. The y value is supposed to be zero equals two plus three, two minus two over two, which is zero equals five times zero over two. Zero equals zero over two, which is zero. X equals two does give me y equals zero, so choice two also works. Choice A cannot be correct because 1 and 2 both work. So it's either choice C, 1 and 2 only, or choice D, 1, 2, and 3. Let's try x equals 0. That gives me the y value 0 equals 0 plus 3, 0 minus 2 over 0. 0 equals 3 times negative 2 over 0. 0 equals negative 6 over 0. But division by zero is not defined, so that's not true. Choice three does not work, which rules out D. The correct answer is C. Alternatively, we could have solved a rational expression is zero if the numerator is zero. So x plus three, x minus two equals zero. Either the first factor is 0, x plus 3 equals 0, or the second factor is 0, x minus 2 equals 0. And subtracting 3 from both sides gives us x equals negative 3 on the left, or adding 2 to both sides gives us x equals positive 2 on the right. x values of negative 3 and positive 2 work. I did not get x equals 0 as a solution, so option 3 does not work. That again gives us choice C. College Board often asks you about x-intercepts, y-intercepts, or with quadratics, the vertices, the vertex. So review those concepts and come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.